All right. In my vision yesterday, I saw that Mother had this room before me. I'd better search the room. Who knows? Maybe she left me something behind. Your turn? The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of Durache's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come. Take a seat, my friend. Nighttime stroll, Mr. President? There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. Coming. bothering you no not in the least is something wrong I'm going to need your help do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall I, I bumped into her in the small salon before well 
She is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens! I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. And perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. Sir, I, I don't feel well. I'm going to have to decline. I see. Well, I hope you won't be needing my help one day. I must act swiftly. I'll search my room later. Strength from your objective. Duke Manuel Godoy. I recognize this part of the corridor. I'm close. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. An important meeting is underway. My instructions are to let no one pass. I see. So that's where it's happening in that room. I've just got to find a way in there. Huh. That's me. difficult. This doesn't seem to be the room for my vision. Grammar of Pont-Royal. Ah, the artistry of the French language in all its splendor. Whoever masters French commands the world, at least une partie of it. It's a letter from Lady Hillsborough that she apparently never got to send. Office 101, Buckingham Palace, London? Dear Mr. Walsingham, nothing to worry about. I cannot meet you at the palace as planned, as an important matter has cropped up which requires all my attention. You will guess who I have gone to fetch at dear Mortimer's, and thus you will understand my hurried departure. What on earth is she talking about? I can guarantee you will be back as soon as possible. You will understand that to be able to serve you, I must assemble all my assets. You know I put the interests of the Crown above my own. Tell the Queen I, of course, will assume all of the responsibility and consequences for my absence. Your devoted servant, E.H. Whoa, this looks serious. It would seem that our dear Emily is in the service of the British Crown. Now, I'm not saying she's definitely involved in shady deals, but I'll bet she does do some top-secret stuff. 
sneaky little minx. Hmm. I wonder who this Walsingham is. Well, at any rate, Emily didn't come here to finish up a deal with anyone. She came here looking for someone just like I did. Tending children at the orphanage in Harlem. I find it a little hard to understand this painting choice. King George III in coronation robes. Nice touch for the room of an English duchess. It's Emily's room. She's fast asleep. I understand your eagerness, but the pressure on my family complicates the task. Relax, my friend. Your relatives will soon be huh. safe. So what I saw in my vision really did happen. <sighs> well, I hope I haven't missed anything important. I thank you so much. Don't mention it. Now that's settled, let us speak about your support. Yes. You mentioned earlier some assistance from the Golden Order? Absolutely. I have concluded an agreement with their leader, Lady Sarah Faustine de Richet. Another case that Mother didn't tell me about. The funds from the Order will finance the building of a foundry in Tuscany. You will soon be able to count on a hundred or more cannons for your future campaigns. I... Uh, I was not expecting so much help from you. Uh, when can I meet this uh, de Richet? Well, unfortunately, something has cropped up. De Richet has disappeared. Disappeared? What? Here? Yes, but the staff are redoubling efforts to find her, I assure you. So the agreement, is it on or off? It is on. Her right-hand man has just arrived here to help us find her. And it is none other than her son, Louis Maurras de Richet. I wager he will ensure his mother's commitments are met. Louis, not an easy name to live with in these times. Uh, of course, but from now on you will deal with him. This man, it can only be Mortimer. Very well, I will seek him out. Ah! Ma'am. Get away from here. Emily? Uh, I can explain. Perhaps, but remain still. Still. But, but first, you could perhaps remove the blade from my throat? You have ten seconds to explain your presence here. I'm not here for you. What are you doing in my room? I thought a night stroll would help me sleep better. A servant must have closed the window behind me and- And I... my window was the only way for you to get back inside. Most convincing. What were you really doing on the balcony?
seeing the window open, I feared someone had entered your room. With what I'd heard next door, I had every reason to believe that your life was in danger. I am a grown woman, but how kind of you to worry about me. Now that I'm safe and sound, tell me more. Has this anything to do with the Order? Oh, yes. Washington informed me you were part of the Order. You too? You're part of this too? Yes. Now answer. Do these events concern me? Do they involve the Golden Order? I overheard a conversation between a French soldier and some other individual. And what were they talking about? It seems Mother is involved, something about a military campaign. Apparently my mother validated an order of cannons to help this man. Really? Since when does the Order finance wars? As far as I know, since never. Did they give any details, a date, what they were for? Nothing at all. Did you know anything about this? No, but I won't forget. Thank you. All right, Louis, I might have overreacted a bit. Please do excuse me, but next time, please try knocking on my door. I'd be delighted to open it for you. Oh. Well, I'll remember in that case. Good night, Emily. Good night, Louis. Napoleon Bonaparte. Sir Jacques Perru. guide. That's not the right way. Your Eminence, what are you doing here? I wanted to speak to you about something important. Do you still have my letter on you? The one I gave you in the hall? Why do you ask? I have a name to add to it. Here it is. Thank you, my son. Ah, I see that it's still sealed. I was right to put my trust in you, Louise. Now give me one second, please. I can't imagine what would have happened if I hadn't added this name to the list. Please, be sure to give this letter to Sarah the moment you see her. You can count on it. Have a good night. Exhausted. I better go to bed. I'll search my room tomorrow. If Mother stayed here right before me, you never know. And Mortimer had better show up. Ugh. <sighs> 
All right. In my vision yesterday, I saw that Mother had this room before me. I better search the room. Who knows? Maybe she left me something behind. Inspiration of St. Matthew, or Matthew writing his gospel, dictated to him by voices. I haven't even had time to unpack my cases. Dear Monsieur de Richet, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. However, rest assured that we are doing all we can to resolve the case that concerns us. Writing material. Nothing. The torture of Ixion, condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. Torture of Ixion, condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. Incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on but doesn't touch. Golden elixir. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very jolly. Oh, 
This bookcase is well stocked. Oh, this book has been put back the wrong way round. A Voyage Around the World, the travel log of the explorer Louis Antoine de Bougainville. One of Mother's favorite books. What a coincidence. And I don't believe in coincidences. It's just too much. I don't know what's going on here, but if you felt threatened, I'll bet you'd leave a clue, wouldn't you, Mother? Found it. A faint sign of the order, barely visible. Mother, you undoubtedly must have hidden a clue in this book. Let's see if I can find anything else in this room. Oh, I'm not far from solving the puzzle. I must keep searching. Look, markings on the floor. Eh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. There's a circle around the lock here. Must be the trunk Mortimer was talking about. The key should open it. There's a note. Effects of Sœur de Richer to be given to her son, Louis. I should probably take it. Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. I wouldn't like to be his son. The conversion of St. Paul by Caravaggio. It's incredible. It doesn't look like a copy, but I was sure the original was in Rome. St. Francis of Assisi in ecstasy, before superior voices. And always a Judith beheading Holofernes. Ironic in a way, when you know that the artist represented himself as Judith beheading her mentor, who had raped her. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very jolly. Last judgment. Why do I always get the most terrifying room? Writing material. Incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on but doesn't touch. Here's something will undermine my botanist appreciation for the local climate. Hmm. Let's recap. My mother was in this room. I found a rare edition of her favorite book. She must have left something behind. She must have used the writing materials. What if she used